public about what they're right. about. The point was is that if I'm going to talk about somebody, I will talk about them. Well, I do want to talk about this, not compromising principles and morals because you brought something to my attention the other day and I felt so bad. But then Don't you... feel bad. I got to do what I got to do. You know, so... I do these advertisements for various law firms in the southeast portion of the country. And a number of them have hired women on their staffs for the first time as attorneys. And some of them who are woke and very much into this feminist thing object to some of the positions that you and I take or discuss. And they watch the stuff and they complain to the law firms and some of the partners or associates have apologized to me, but said, They've got an EEO posture that they have to stick with and abide by. And I generated a lot of business, but they've got to go. So it's cost me three quarters of a million dollars uh, just last year because I said, I'm not going to back down. But they wanted you to stop cost, doing this. Yeah. So I tell people all the time, hey, I'm not convinced by you saying you have to keep doing what you're doing because you have to get this hyper high paying job uh, to keep it. Get a real job. I was listed in Wikipedia as the highest paid man in Hollywood. I don't know whether that's true because I don't know everybody's deal, but I said, go F you. I'm out of here. I'm tired of the crap you're doing. I'm not going to be part of it. And I left. So I can sacrifice it. And too many people didn't prepare in life with a day job. So, you know, they tell all kinds of excuses about why they do what they do when it's not necessary. I mean, I'm retired. I could use the income, you know, to take a vacation or buy a few things, get a new car or two or whatever in the devil take care of a girlfriend or something, but I just said, screw it. I got to do what I got to do while I'm on a mission. That's by the way, while I'm running for mayor of Memphis to straighten this place out. Um, before we get into Memphis, um, so not compromising principles and morals, you know, and, and whether you are a man or a woman, black, white, or whatever, this is why it's important to plan to save so that you're not or that you don't feel like you're being backed in a corner to compromise your morals and principles just to make a living. Um, and I said to you, I'm like, a, a part, and, it, and it wasn't about me. I, I, I get where you're coming from that, you know, the reason why you did it and you've done that before. But for me, it's just like, you know, and I said to you, listen, I probably would have stopped doing this and not let go of eight, well, not let go of that amount of money, but my situation is totally different from yours. And you made sure that you prepared yourself before you even went to Hollywood. Yeah, but the point is, is I'm retired and I is not insubstantial, but I'm on a fixed income and I've got a stipend that I pay myself every month. So I'd like to hype that up a little bit, but you know, you have make sacrifices so it's about principle which is why i put the title it's time for a change because i took that as if this man is making that type of sacrifice to get this message or messages out you know to the masses and he's doing it on my platform then it's my responsibility to make sure that you know i'm doing my part to not has it hinder that process, you know, or and I'm doing my part to make sure that not only you're getting it out, but that is growing that, you know what I'm saying to uh, that I'm growing okay. my audience out to more people. And, and so I need to adjust some of the things that I do. I need to change well, some of the things that I do and how I do it. Yeah. But let me say this. We are a lot more influential than we are given official credit for. 
I keep getting these misses about you and your cult. What cult? I mean, if you look at my official listing of followers on, say, Twitter, it doesn't look like you could have a cult. But we get around further than we do. I know Kwame Brown, good brother and I, we did a show, and we got 9.2 million views, and we screenshot it. Mm-hmm. And then it dropped down to 1.4 million views. Now, you can't undo the view, but you see what the propaganda purpose is. You don't want this out 9.2 million views because that will attract everybody to it. And the views will go up and we don't want the message that Kwame Brown and Joe Brown are putting out. So let's chop it down so people won't be as anxious to go view it. Right. Now, Elon Musk did something with Twitter. Have you noticed the first thing now is impressions? And he says that when somebody does not deal with the woke type thing, a lot of people look at it and might be impressed by it, but they're not going to indicate they like it or retweet it. So what you need to pay attention to is how many people went there to deal with it. So you might have a situation where if you look at this, you've got 26,000 some odd impressions in two or three hours, Mm -hmm. but you've only got 96 likes, but somebody's looking at what you've got to say. And people do look at what we do and it's surprising i've been in memphis around and these this is the south right and white folk walk up uh, judge i saw you and dana on you know i said you watch that yeah all the time y'all got sense jesus christ i hear all this other garbage about all this strange stuff and you all be talking some good sense so you watch it yeah we watch it I make my two boys sit down and watch it. And my wife done got to watching it now. She got a friend girl. Mm-hmm. So you aren't exactly based in Memphis and you wouldn't think that what we talk about goes there, but it does because as I've been told over and over again, somebody needs to talk about right and wrong. It's not popular, but the rest of us, need to be reminded that you're not alone. Other people think like you do, and some people with some stature will tell you about it, and they agree with you because all they hear is this propaganda in the media where these woke folk yell loudly about their position, and they want you to believe that they're saying what the majority of the people think. But then we've heard this other thing before, haven't we? Tell a lie long enough and loud enough, and you can get anyone to believe it. Mm-hmm. Jose Goebbels, Nazi minister of propaganda, who died May 1st, 1945, by poisoning along with he and his wife after they poisoned their six kids because the Nazi empire was going down in flames. And he was born, I think, October 31st, something like that, 1897. So we've heard that, tell it loud enough and long enough and anybody will believe it. So we've been fed a lie representing less than 5% of the people in the country. And Walt Disney jumped on board, CBS, Paramount, all of these entities jumped on board. And now you think when you look at Sesame Street or anything else, they try to make it look like half the country's population is into that when they're not. Right. Don't judge them, Joe Brown.